Melissa is in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Hi, Melissa. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thank you for honoring me with your time today. I appreciate it. My pleasure. How can I help? So I am selling my house, and I stand to make about $40,000 on it. After I sell it, I have a car loan that's about $9,000 that I plan to pay off. After that, I'm completely debt-free, but I also don't have any retirement. And so I'm just trying to determine, is it better for me to take the $31,000 that I have left over and kind of put that back into purchasing another house, or should I put that into savings, retirement, or what would you suggest? Okay. What's your income? About 42000 a year. Okay. And what's the price range of home you sold? Um, uh, the house that I'm selling is about two eighty. Wow. Yeah, and I'm only looking to buy one that's around one sixty five. Okay, you weren't servicing two eighty on forty two thousand. No, 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 no. I was not. <laughs> was it? A, a My divorce? husband and I were together, and we have separated, and so I'm going from a double income family oh, to single. Okay, that's what I was guessing. Okay, sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I. Um, you have children? I have a 20-year-old daughter who's in college. Okay. All right. So you don't have children that you have to worry about for housing. Okay. No. Um, well, the first thing is, uh, yes, I, I, you, done, you, you did do the right thing by paying off the car out of this in your mind or, or, and following through on that. And, yes, I would set aside uh, three to six months of expenses as an emergency fund. Uh, I would cheat down to the three side in this situation, giving you as much of a down payment as you can possibly have on the next house. And that house should be where the payments are no more than a fourth of your take-home pay on a 15-year fixed. I don't think that's putting you into a 165. Okay. I think that's going to bring you down further than that, which okay. could mean that you may... How long were you married? Well, 20 years, so probably, or 30, 25. How long was I married? Yeah, probably 25 years. Oh, no, no. It was a second marriage, so we were oh. only married for eight years. Oh, okay. All right. I was just thinking it, it, it's okay to set, it, to, okay, pay off the car, set aside an emergency fund, set the other portion aside in a separate account, call that your house fund, rent okay. something inexpensive, and whatever emotional recovery you might need, give yourself six months and then make a decision on buying a house. The okay. only problem with that is it entails a couple of moves rather than one move. Right, and I was kind of concerned because my rent around this area is more than what my mortgage could potentially be, but it would be a 30-year fix at only 10% down, and that's why I was kind of going back and forth. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm always going to put you down. Because the thing is, it's it's an okay thing in your situation to do the 30 that on the short term, that feels like the right thing to do. I get back into home ownership. You know, I, I got my future lined out and those kinds of things. What, let me ask you this. What's the uh, path on your career look like? I mean, are you looking to see your income come up substantially in the next few years? No. Okay. All right. Um, so you, you, the 30 year mortgage is not a good long-term play okay and, and because it just traps you and um it, it, it ends up not being the best thing for you long term so I, i'm going to move on down in house or i'm going to tap the brakes and wait and rent is always higher in every area by the way that's not different there rent's always higher than than payments um uh but payments but owning a home is always more expensive in, uh, annually than um, than renting, but it is not more expensive over the long haul because it goes up in value. But you've got repairs and you've got all kinds of issues and other things you have to deal with. When you're the homeowner, anything that breaks, you've got to fix it. Uh, when you're the, a tenant, the landlord gets to fix all that. And so this is one of the reasons that rents are a little higher. So it's it, a temporary measure, even though rents are higher, might be okay to kind of get stabilized and start thinking about your long-term career um, prospects and plans given this life change that you've gone through. And, and then that might change what you purchase or where you purchase even. Uh, and, and so there's just a lot of upheaval and a lot of change and a lot of uh, pain in your life, and those are never good times to make great decisions. 
So you sound really stable and upbeat and everything on the air. So uh, maybe I'm overstating this. Maybe I'm adding melodrama to it. I don't know. But those are always just concerns with what you're going through. And I want you to just be careful and be steady. Careful and steady always wins, you know. So take your time. But, yeah, pay off the car and set aside an emergency fund. Work with, work with what's left. And then if you're going to do something today, uh, I would do a 15-year fixed. And I would do it where the payment's no more than a fourth of your take-home pay. Thanks for the call.